Okay, hi everybody. So today we are going to do a Premier League predictions video. So I'm going to predict every single result, all 380 Premier League games. Starting with the first one, Crystal Palace Arsenal. Now I reckon Crystal Palace will actually win this game. Uh, Arsenal, they'll they'll do okay this season. I actually think they might make the top four. We'll, we'll see based on the predictions. Who knows? Okay, uh, Fulham Liverpool, four uh, nil Liverpool. With Villa, two uh, one Villa. Uh, Leeds Wolves. Uh, I'd like Leeds to win it, but I think it'll be Wolves. Newcastle Forest. I reckon that will be two nil to Newcastle. Tottenham Southampton will go two nil. And um, Everton Chelsea uh, one all. Leicester Brentford. I'll go to Leicester two one. Man U Brighton. I think two two. West Ham Man City. I reckon that actually. Um, West Ham did quite well against Man City last season. I think that West Ham are going to win. I think they're going to win quite convincingly too. 2-0. Right, on to next ones. Aston Villa, Everton. 2-1 uh, Villa. Arsenal, Leicester. 2-0 Arsenal. Brighton, Newcastle will end one all. City, Bournemouth will end 3-0. Southampton, Leeds. That's going to be 2-0. Two. Wolves v Fulham. Four. No. Sorry. Two. One. Brentford Man United. So I'll say one. Three. Forest West Ham. West Ham will win it. Two. One. Chelsea Tottenham. Two. Nil. Uh, Liverpool Crystal Palace. That's going to be uh, Liverpool's. Three. One. Tottenham Wolves. Uh, two one Palace of Villa. Uh, that's going to be two all. Everton Forest, two one Forest. Fulham Brentford London Derby, actually a West London Derby as well. So Fulham are going to be angry. So Brentford, they're going to be like, oh, we're rivals. Uh, so let's see, T uh, two all on his even. Leicester Southampton, uh, two one. Bournemouth Arsenal, 1 uh, 0 to Arsenal. Leeds against Chelsea, 1 all. West Ham versus Brighton, 2 uh, 1 to Brighton. Newcastle, Man City. Uh, they both got lots of money this season. I think City might just edge it though, 1 to 2. And United Liverpool, 3 1 to Liverpool. And then that's going to kind of put Man United in panic mode. Uh, but they're redeeming themselves against Southampton quite comfortably, 3-0. Brentford Everton, that's going to be 2-0 uh, to Everton. Brighton versus Leeds. Leeds are going to win that 2-0. Chelsea Leicester, 2-1. Liverpool versus Bournemouth, 3-1. City versus Palace, 2-0. Arsenal Fulham. 3-0. Aston Villa versus West Ham is going to be a 2-1 uh, win for West Ham. Wolves against Newcastle, 2-0. Uh, Forest versus Tottenham. I think actually this might might be a, might be a starting point for Forest. I think it's going to be one of the highs of their season. 2-1 to Forest. Wow. Didn't expect to see that, did you? Arsenal versus Villa, 1-0 to Villa. Wow. Bournemouth versus Wolves. I think Bournemouth need a win too, don't they? So let's give them a win here, 2-1. Man City versus Nottingham Forest. Now, this is interesting. Uh, European Cups, Nottingham Forest have two European Cups. Man City have zero European Cups. So it's going to be 2-0 to Forest. They've beaten Tottenham and now they've beaten Man City. Leicester versus Man United. Uh, this is going to go to Man United 2-1, and they need it. Match day six, Everton versus Liverpool. Uh, oh, um, I'd say Merseyside derby. Everton have never won a Merseyside derby. Well, they, they have, but it's it's very it's it's very rare for them to win a Merseyside derby. So let's give them it. One nil, one exciting game, and you know it, it gets to like the the 89th minute, and like all the 
Everton fans are like at tender hits, like, are we actually going to do this? Are we going to do this? Are we going to beat Liverpool? And like, oh my God, we've actually beaten Liverpool. Maybe we'll win the league this season. When actually they finish 17th. Or, well, we'll see. Uh, Man United versus Arsenal is going to go to Man United 2 1. Episode 7, Fulham, Chelsea. Well, Chelsea need to redeem themselves after losing to Fulham, and they will. It's going to be emphatic. 6 0. Can you believe it? Liverpool Wolves is going to be 3 0. Southampton versus Brentford. Uh, that's going to go to Brentford. 1 0. Man City versus Tottenham. Well, Man City lost both games against Tottenham last season, so I see no reason why they won't lose again. So let's say 2 1 to Tottenham. Arsenal versus Everton. Uh, this is going to go to Arsenal. 1 0. West Ham, Newcastle. We're going to give this one to Newcastle. 2 0. Dallas, Man United. Oh, there's not enough data. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Oh, no, we're not. Crystal Palace versus Man United. This one's going to go to Crystal Palace. What a shocker. 1 0. Leeds versus Nottingham Forest. This one's going to go to Nottingham Forest. 2 1. So now we're going to take a sneak peek at the table. Liverpool are top, um, West Ham second. Uh, interesting uh, top 10. Nottingham Forest all the way up to fifth, um, which is amazing. No sign of the uh, the previous champions. I'd say the undeserved champions, but, you know, champions nonetheless, I suppose. Um, where about today? They are 12th. <laughs> That's, um, yeah, amazing. Um, you know, all the um, all these city city fans, and they're not really fans, are they? Um, they're going to be um, flocking to other teams, probably going to go and support um, support Liverpool um, or, or even West Ham, maybe, or, or Chelsea or Man United or or one of those one of those teams. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, match day eight: Villa Southampton. This is going to go to Villa to one. Forest Fulham is going to be. Um, I suppose Fulham probably did get the better of Forest in the in the Championship, but this is Premier League now, and Fulham are just awful in the Premier League. So this is going to be two nil to Forest. Uh, Wolves versus Man City. Uh, mm, Wolves have beaten Man City the Molyneux before. Uh, Tottenham versus Leicester. Let's give that one to mm, Tottenham. <laughs> uh, one nil to Tottenham. Brentford versus Arsenal. I'm only joking, Tottenham fans. Brentford versus Arsenal. Um, Brentford are going to win that. 1-0 as well. What a boring match day. All 1-0s. Man United versus Leeds. Uh, one all. There we go. Chelsea versus Liverpool. This is going to be a win for Chelsea. 2-1. Oh, no. We were top of the league. Are we, are we still top of the league after that? I don't know. Oh, Chelsea are now top of the league. Oh, no. We've, we've just... We've just been overtaken by Chelsea. Um, all, all of the uh, plastics, uh, they could be flocked back to Man City. Now they're back in the top 10. Oh, but is it is it is it good enough? Um, who knows? Um, maybe maybe they want Pep's blood. I don't know. This this Haaland signing's just, just not worked out, you know? Okay. Right. So what I've done is I've just kind of sped run through. I've just put the next three uh, predictions on there just to kind of save a bit of time. So, in terms of any contentious results, I suppose I predicted Arsenal to win the North London derby. I have predicted United to beat Man City in the Manchester derby. Is it really a derby? Well, it's not really a rivalry, is it? Let's face it. Um, I've predicted Liverpool to beat Arsenal. Everton to beat Man United. Um, I've also predicted Liverpool to beat Man City. Anyway, let's see if that does anything to the table. It puts Liverpool back in the lead. Um, it puts Newcastle up to third, <laughs> puts Arsenal up to eighth, Forest down to seventh. But, you know, looking at uh, maybe a place in the Conference League, we could see Nottingham Forest back in Europe. Uh, how amazing would that be? Uh, City probably panicking a little bit, being a tenth. You know, tenth isn't too bad, you know. Uh, the pre-2008 City, you know, they'd be they'd bite your hand off a tenth. Uh, Fulham right at the bottom there still, despite those those two two wins. I'm going, to do three, I'm going to do three more match days. Let's see uh, how these turn out. Okay, so these are the results I'm predicting for the next match day. So I'm predicting that City will beat Arsenal. I'm predicting that United will beat Tottenham. Newcastle will beat Everton. Liverpool will beat West Ham. Uh, Leeds are going to beat Fulham. City will beat Brighton. West Ham will beat Bournemouth. Um, and so on. You can see the results that I'm predicting there. 
Um, what is that going to do to the table? Well, we can see that West Ham have gone up to fourth. They're in the Champions League place, uh, knocking Tottenham down to fifth. Arsenal in sixth, just behind on goal difference. City have gone up to seventh. United are behind them in eighth. Leicester up to ninth. Brighton down to tenth. And the bottom half of the table uh, looks like this. We've got Bournemouth, Southampton and Fulham in the bottom three. Everton in 14th. Nottingham Forest have fallen all the way down to 13th. They had a high start to the season. I think now kind of things are catching up with them. Um, they're, they're still right riding the wave. They're still, you know, eight points clear of relegation. Um, is it going to end badly for them? Who knows? Uh, looks like whoa, things could end badly for Southampton, though. Uh, we will see. Uh, you've got I've got three more match days to predict, and this is what I think is going to happen in these games. Okay, so we predicted uh, fifteen to nineteen, so that's going to take us to the halfway point of the uh, league. Uh, so any contentious results? Well, we've got Man United beating Villa, I suppose Chelsea beating uh, Arsenal, Newcastle beating Southampton, North versus South, uh, City thrashing uh, Fulham. Um, we've got. Yeah, some some interesting results there. Chelsea three 0 Bournemouth. We can see a draw between Leeds and Man City, um, taking us all the way to match day nineteen. We've mostly home wins. Uh, Fulham do beat Leicester, which I think is a bit of a surprising result. Um, but apart from that, oh, Nottingham Forest two 0 with Chelsea. They both have two European cups, um, and they share the result two two. Well, that takes us all the way to the halfway point, as I said. And what does that do to the uh, to the league table? Um, well, we have Liverpool in first, Chelsea in second on the same number of points, both on 42. So both fully safe from relegation this season, we, we would assume. Man United up to third, Newcastle down to fourth, Tottenham in fifth, Man City in sixth, um, and Leeds in the top 10, interestingly enough. But what about the bottom half of the table? Who is going down this year? Well, Bournemouth are right at the bottom. Fulham have gone up to 19th, but are still in danger. Southampton in 18th and also kind of flirting with um, danger as well. Um, but now we get to the rest of the season. Yeah. So we've got 20, 21, 22, 23. And 24. And let's 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 put let's take 25 in there as well. So these are the results I'm expecting to happen here. So we'll have West Ham beating Nottingham Forest 2-0, Chelsea beating Tottenham 2-0, uh, Leeds beating Southampton 2-1. Uh, we've got Tottenham against West Ham 2-1, Man United beat Leicester 2-1, Chelsea beat Southampton 2-1, a couple of nil-nils there. That's a bit of a boring one. Uh, no draws in match day 23. Arsenal beat Brentford 2-1. They get revenge from the start of the season last season. Um Tottenham beat Man City 1-0. It's a same result that happened last season at the um, White Hart Arena, as I like to call their stadium. Um, you've got Liverpool beating Chelsea 3-2. Uh, Tottenham have gone up to fourth, knocking Newcastle to fifth. West Ham up to seventh. Brentford are now in the bottom of three, and Southampton have gone up to 17th. Nottingham Forest in danger now. They're down to 16th. So now we're going to go to match day 30 and see what happens when we get to match day 30. So these are more of my predictions. Uh, Chelsea beat Wolves 2-0, Tottenham beat Brighton 2-0, uh, Tottenham beat Everton 3-2, City and Liverpool draw with each other, uh, Arsenal beat Crystal Palace 2-1, uh, Newcastle batter Forest, uh, Villa uh, beat West Ham, Arsenal destroy Fulham, Liverpool batter Bournemouth, any other interesting results? Uh, Fulham actually get a win against Brentford and expose their they're kind of battling relegation. Chelsea and Leeds share points. Uh, Man City and Newcastle also share points as well. So we'll see what this does to the table. And not much. It's put Newcastle back in the top four and Man United down to fifth. Aston Villa are up to ninth and Leicester are up to tenth. Liverpool are one point ahead of Chelsea. In terms of the bottom half of the table, Southampton are back in the relegation zone and Fulham are back to 20th. Nottingham Forest up to 15th, uh, Brighton up to 12th. All of these teams can still get relegated. Arsenal could still get relegated. Um, and all of these teams 
can still win the title. So Arsenal are in an interesting position where they can win the title and still be relegated. Um, Europa League 5, we should really put it up to... Well, I'll put it up to 7, but as I said, um, this needs updating to also include the Europa Conference League as well. Um, which, I don't know, it needs another colour. This is what I predict is going to happen. Newcastle will beat Southampton 3-1. Uh, the away wins are going to be City beating Fulham 3-0, Leeds beating Bournemouth 3-2, and Chelsea beating Arsenal 2-1. But all the games are going to be a home win. Uh, Tottenham and Man United are going to draw 2 all. Chelsea beat Brentford 2-0. Liverpool will win against West Ham. Everton will beat Newcastle. That's going to be an interesting result because Newcastle, as I said, they've got quality this season. Um Arsenal 2 0 against Southampton. We've got a few draws there as well. Yeah, these are our results, and we're going to see how this affects the table. Liverpool stay first, and they are three points clear of Chelsea. Chelsea in second, Tottenham in third, Newcastle in fourth, Man United in fifth, City in sixth, Arsenal up to seventh. The only teams that can be relegated right now are Wolves. Nottingham Forest, Brentford, Southampton, Bournemouth and Fulham. Um, only Liverpool or Chelsea can win the title. So they're the only two teams in the title race. OK, match day 35. What we got? We've got Chelsea winning against Bournemouth. Have Liverpool won their game? Yes, they have. They've beaten Brentford 3-1. Southampton beating Nottingham Forest. Uh, Fulham have won as well. Uh, so is that going to is that going to affect things? affect things at the top of the table. Nothing's changed at the top of the table. Liverpool are still three points ahead of Chelsea. But what about the bottom of the table? Has anything changed at the bottom of the table? Fulham have overtaken Bournemouth. Okay. Brentford are two points ahead of relegation. Match day 36. Arsenal to beat Brighton. Tottenham to beat Aston Villa. West Ham to beat Brentford. Chelsea to draw. Liverpool to win. Oh, dear. Uh, Southampton, Man United to win as well. What does this do? To the bottom half of the table, Brentford are now in the bottom three. The top of the table, uh, the title race is not over, but Liverpool are now five points clear. So Liverpool probably have won the Premier League this year. But we go ahead now to match day 37, the penultimate match day of the season. Maybe this is where relegations and titles will be decided, uh, but I think I think this could be this could be it. I think this could could actually decide the the league. So Man United to beat Bournemouth, Liverpool do win. They beat Aston Villa two one. Uh, Chelsea actually draw with Man City, so mm, could be a problem. I think the league has been decided, and it has. Liverpool have won the league. I'm predicting Liverpool to win the Premier League. Uh, 2022 to 2023. Nothing changes either with the um, the top half of the table. But what about the bottom half? Has any team been relegated yet? There's not enough memory to decide. Oh dear. Okay, well, I was not expecting this to happen. Bournemouth have been relegated first in 20th place, and they actually cannot escape 20th place. Because even if they win their last game, they are not overtaking Fulham or Brentford. They are out, and they are absolutely out they are completely done for anyway the final match day let's see what happens Arsenal will beat Wolves Brighton will beat Villa Chelsea will beat Newcastle all in vain though uh, Liverpool will win Southampton to kind of cement their, their title they've already lifted the title because of the fact that they always try and do it at home so they'll have already lifted it Southampton will give them the guard of honour as they walk on which is quite nice since a lot of the Southampton players will probably end up playing for Liverpool I always refer to Southampton as the Liverpool reserves. Uh, only one draw, uh, Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest. To be honest, I've not really predicted many draws. Um, lots of either wins or losses. So there probably will be more draws, I think. I think I've been quite generous with, with letting teams win or, or not win. The interesting thing is doubles. We've got quite a lot of... Liverpool got 11 doubles. Um, Brentford got zero doubles. Brentford the only team to not get a double. Fulham got two doubles, a double over Crystal Palace and Leicester. Um, and Crystal Palace got a double over Southampton. Uh, Newcastle got seven doubles. 
only Chelsea, Liverpool and Newcastle did not concede any doubles. So that means that they were not beaten home or away is what a double is. Liverpool had the best home form and the best away form. Uh, Man City played better away than at home. I suppose that makes sense because there's no atmosphere at their stadium. Uh, but actually, let's look at the actual bottom three. Let's actually see who's been relegated. Manchester United have got in the Champions League at Newcastle's expense, which is a shame for Newcastle. I think it would have been good to see them in the Champions League. Uh, but, you know, there's always next season. This is very encouraging, a fifth place, and it's the Europa League. So it's an interesting it's an interesting competition. They get to play in Europe. Liverpool with 95 points is actually an incredible score. Um, more than they got last season. Uh, but Brentford, Fulham and Bournemouth get relegated um, at the end of this season. Uh, but it's quite a close one. Southampton survived by one point. And the rest of the other teams, fairly safe. Um, Wolves, six ahead of Brentford. So yeah, the rest of the team's fairly safe. Anyway, uh, that's my prediction video. Let's see. I mean, I'll do I do, do kind of a thing where we, we kind of compare later on, see how right or how wrong I was. Um, probably a little bit ambitious to predict that, you know, City will come sixth. Um, you know, hopefully they don't even do that well. Hopefully they finish in the in the bottom half of the table. We can only hope they do really poorly. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if this is how things play out. Only time will tell. But yeah, first game tomorrow. I can't wait.